Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday. I'm coming at you with Jaspie's four box, win a spot in Transcendent, baseball mixer, random team break number two. Four box break featuring Tribute, Bowman's Best, Optic, Archive, Sig Series, Retired Player Edition, and of course, at the end of the break, I'll re-randomize everybody's names, and the name on top wins a spot in Transcendent Random Hit Break number one, which you can get spots straight up on jazbeescasebreaks.com right now if you're feeling feeling frisky. You can go and get that. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Three and a six, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got a couple Daniels down to a Richard. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got the Tampa Bay Rays down to the Milwaukee Brew Crew. All right, so Daniel, you have the Tampa Bay Rays. You also have the Minnesota Twins. James, you got the Marlins. Darren with the uh, Angels. Daniel with the Royals and the Mariners with your last spot mojo. James with the Rockies. Justin with the Pirates. Daniel with the Braves. Aaron with the Cardinals. Alan with the Blue Jays. David with the Tigers. Jeff with the A's. Aaron with the Nats. Jerry, you got my Dodgers. Thomas with the Padres. Arthur with the Diamondbacks. Daniel with the Giants and Cubs. Uh, Aaron with the Indians. Daniel with the Yankees and the Phillies. Bradley with the Mets. Todd with the O's. Chris with the Astros. Richard with the Reds and White Sox. James with the Red Sox. Daniel with the Rangers. And Richard Z with the Brew Crew. All right, so let's alphabetize this by column B by team. All right. Now I'm going to pause the video really quick. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. So stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. No trades. So here's the official printout. Remain, everything remains the same right there on Tuesday the 12th. There's Daniel with that last bot mojo star. Thanks to him and thanks to everybody for getting into this action tonight. I think we're posting another. Um, I think we're posting another one of these four box mixers right here. So you can try to join the break. Well, I mean, this is a nice mixer too. You can get hits and maybe stumble into a uh, a transcendent spot as well. All right, good luck, everybody. Should be a pretty nice one. Matt said he got some nice stuff in yesterday's mixer. There you go. Hot stove is going to be heating up soon, ladies and gentlemen. I guess the hot stove percolating a little bit. I think people... Uh, People are hiring. Teams are hiring managers and GMs. Got people are extending people here, whatnot. So, and then I think Ranger exploring top tier free agents. Cardinals reciting Adam Wainwright. So I think things are starting to. Last couple off seasons have been a little slow. Maybe this offseason might be a little bit uh, more exciting. The Astros accused of illegal use of technology to seal signs. The Astros, they're like the they're like the, the Patriots of the of baseball, it seems like. And that GM that got fired because of his words.
All right. Good luck. There's Sal Perez to 75. And Ronald Acuna Jr. to 199. Oh, I thought it was going to be an autograph. Maybe it was a parallel hot box. Uh, I did not. I'm not on, on, on anything. No financial interest in any hoops tonight. At a 76, Reese McGuire. Nick Castellanos to 150. Looks like a parallel hot box. We got Mike Moustakis to 676. We got Miguel Cabrera to two nine to one ninety nine. Trevor Story to ninety nine. Nice parallel hot box coming at you. I like that. Christian Yelich, Brewers, Trey Turner to two fifty. Sean Reed Foley to one ninety nine. Should have autographs here too. Justin Smoke to 75. And we've got Joe Adele. Nice. Joe Adele rated prospect autograph for Darren and the Angels. Looks like maybe Joe Adele stacked his autographs on top of each other too quickly. There you go. But nice on-card auto, Joe Adele, for that uh, Darren. That could be a huge rookie. Maybe early, very early rookie of the year candidate for next year. Joey Gallo to 150. Oh, yeah, rookie of the years were announced. Everyone was okay with it? I was. To 125, James and Tyon. Pirates and Corbin Burns. Autograph for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Richard Zitterman. Pete Alonso won the NL Rookie of the Year. Much deserved, I think. Jordan Alvarez won AL Rookie of the Year. I don't think there is too many questions about that. What are they awarding tonight? Manager of the Year, I think. Oh, there you go. Let's go through this box first. Tell you the Managers of the Year. There's Jacob Nix to 60. Yeah, it's a parallel hot box. That's a whole stack of parallels right here, Logan. Michael Conforto to 75. Matt Carpenter, Pink Velocity to 199. We got Lorenzo Cain to 125. Mookie Betts to 150. He might be on the move. Chris Davis to 199. And Jake Cave at the end right there. Rocco Baldelli won AL Manager of the Year, Twins Manager. And uh, Mike Schilt for the Cardinals took NL. Manager of the Year. Are we good with that? I think I'm good with that. Oh, I've got Manager of the Year vote totals. Let's see how close it was. I think Aaron Boone had... So Rocco Baldelli of the Twins... One with 106 points. Aaron Boone was really close with 96 points. Both had 13 first place votes. But Baldelli had 13 second place votes and Aaron Boone had nine second place votes. So that's, that's kind of where the split was. Kevin Cash for the Rays, uh, 33 points after that. Then Bob Melvin with 19 points. A.J. Hinch got, uh, got a first place a vote, 12 points. Terry Francona had four points as well. In the NL, your manager of the year is Mike Schilt of the Cardinals with 95 points, edging out Craig Council. Craig Council actually had more first place votes. He had 13. Mike Schilt had 10 first place votes. But then Mike Schilt also had 14 second place votes. Craig Council had only had six second place votes. 95 points for Mike Schilt, 88 points for Craig Council. Then it was uh, Brian Snichter of the Braves, 45 points. Dave Roberts for my Dodgers got 25 points. Dave Martinez for your World Series winning Nationals, 15 points. I think this was probably, voting was probably done before the playoffs, I think. 
And then uh, Tori Lovello of the Diamondbacks got a couple third place votes for a couple points. So there you go. Your manager of the year. Do we agree? Disagree? I feel like Dave Martinez of the Nationals should have gotten some more votes, even if it was before the playoffs. I think the baseball writers did this before the playoffs, I'm pretty sure. But just the fact that they started the season off so god-awful in that first month and a half, and to turn that team around, and then they just went on like a four or five month hot streak to get into the playoffs. I thought that was pretty impressive. With a bad bullpen as well, kind of navigated through that. All right, we got Tristan Casas, Tristan Houses right here. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. I guess we'll save one of those. That's rookie Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, this is 2018. That's right. 2018 Bowman's best, by the way, in case you were wondering. Where'd that fox go? Is it supposed to be 2018? Yeah, 2018. This is the only 2018 box. Everything else is 2019. All right, anyway. Um, no, Jordan Alvarez kind of played enough games to, to be rookie eligible this year. So, no, he cannot win it twice. There's Logan Gilbert. There's Tristan Casas to 99. I'm going to save one of those Tatis Jr. is too. Um, I'm not sure, Daniel. We have, so I think we have a box or two in, in the shop, but you have to fly over here, Daniel, and you can, you can buy some boxes. I think we've got some golf here. I don't think nothing for group breaks at the moment. Right. I think, so hobby-wise, I think his RCs might be next year. Will probably be next year. This is kind of like what happened to, kind of what happened with Jeff McNeil, I think. Jeff McNeil for the Mets, who, all, who for part of the season looked like he was going to win the batting title um, for the NL completed his rookie eligibility last year but he kind of came out of nowhere so no one really had him on the hobby radar and so his RCs were in 2019 product but he couldn't win rookie of the year there's Nolan Gorman nice autograph future prospect for the Cardinals Aaron Pettit so every once in a while for people that for players that kind of come out of the woodwork There'll be like some some stuff that gets that, that's a little off from rookie year to their actual year of being in action. It's a little weird, but you know, you can't put every single person in baseball, so in here. And there's Shane McClanahan for the Rays. Now we'll go to Daniel. Tampa Bay. All right, there you go. All right, let's do tribute next. Oh, do we? Yeah, we had, we had a Tiger Woods. We had a t easy Bubba. We had a Tiger Woods autograph in our in our trick or treat product. That's what it, we didn't give it away, but people bought into the break and then it popped out of that break. 
I don't know. Who, I forget who who won who uh, who won that card though. That was a pretty nice one. Scared of flying? Well, you can drive here, Daniel. You can drive here. And you can buy boxes of cards right out of our shop. The stuff that won't be available for group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You can visit our shop in Hermosa Beach. Hermosa Beach, California. You can take a train here. You can drive out here. 9 out of 99 Freddie Freeman Triple Relic. That will be for the Braves. Daniel with that one. We got a Trevor Hoffman here. Oh, nice autograph. 35 out of 199. That's for the Padres. Thomas with the Padres. Nice one, Thomas. Trevor Hoffman. Incredible changeup from Trevor Hoffman. Just just that simple ability to change speeds. Just made him made him a made him a Hall of Fame. Here's Charlie Blackman to ninety nine, and we got a dual relic for the Cardinals: Matt Carpenter, Yadi Molina, six out of fifty. That will be for Aaron Pettit and the Cardinals. It is a long way to Hermosa Beach, Daniel, from where you're at, but train is not that bad. Train will probably take you a couple days. If you don't like flying, you can do it the old-fashioned way. Get on the get on your local Big Hit Express and then train over to, uh, to Hermosa Beach. There's Paul Young, another Cardinal for Aaron Pettit. Nice, Aaron. There's D.D. Gregorius, relic right there, 10 out of 50 for the Yankees. That'll be for Daniel. It's got the hologram sticker there, too. If you go to MLB.com slash authentication, you can look up that series of letters and numbers and see uh, what game that came from. You can look up his box score, et cetera, et cetera. That's true. You can make friends with a long-haul driver, Daniel. That'd be good. Ooh, and another DD Gregorius shadow box autograph this time. Twenty out of ninety nine for Daniel and the Yankees. I think uh, doesn't Brett, who's a big rig in the chat, drive a big rig? Maybe you can catch up with him. Maybe make it make it make your way out to Southern California. What an adventure that would be. Just on the road. A Kerouac. Twenty three out of ninety nine Warren Spawn. Alright, and our last one. Archives twenty nineteen Archive Sig series, right? Is that what we're doing? Yes, Archive Sig Series Retired Player Edition. Good luck. Should we I don't think anything sold out after this. Logan? Everybody, should we play Who Am I? I think we can play a little round of Who Am I. I don't think we got anything else sold out after this. In fact, we got no orders after this. No, a few orders after this. Okay. We'll play Who Am I. All right. What edition is that? Oh, okay. All right, who am I? I am a, a, a obviously, this is a retired player edition, so I'm a retired baseball player, a starting pitcher, a right-handed starting pitcher. 
born in San Angelo, Texas. Played for one, two, three, four teams my entire career with a 355, 355 wins. It's a lot of wins. 227 losses, a 316 lifetime ERA, 3,371 strikeouts, eight All Stars, a World Series champion, four time NL Cy Young Award winner, 18 time Gold Glover, three time MLB wins leader, four time MLB ERA leader, first ballot Hall of Famer with 97.2% of the vote. Uh, no, Bubba, that's wrong. Nope, that's not that player either. Nope, not that player either. Mm -mm. No, I, I don't care what you say. That's not that player. <laughs> um, not Randy Johnson, not Rick Honeycutt. Let's see, should we start giving it away? I was born in uh, San Angelo, Texas. Spent much of my childhood in Madrid, Spain where the United States Air Force stationed my dad. And then I grew up in Las Vegas, Nevada with my, with my brother Mike, my brother Mike Maddox. <laughs> that gives it away, right? So that would be play for the Cubs, Braves, Cubs, Dodgers, Padres, Dodgers. He played for the Dodgers twice? I guess he did. No, not, not Jim Maddox. Yep, there we go. It's Greg Maddox. And it's Braves edition of Greg Maddox. And it's a one of one Greg Maddox. Wow. You got it right, Jason. There you go. There's his auto right there. Let's see if we can put the blank card behind it. We'll see a little bit better. There he is, Braves edition, and a one of one. And this is from High Tech Baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, you can pre-order High Tech Baseball right now on jazbeescasebreaks.com. The 2019 edition drops on Wednesday. Look at that. That's a perfect, that's a, what a great segue. So this is 2015 edition. 2019 edition drops on Wednesday the 13th. Tomorrow, if you're watching live. So join us for that. Who's got the Braves? Daniel has the Braves, and it's a one of one. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Four boxes in the books. Now, here's the other important thing in this mixer. Who's going to win a transcendent spot? What? Yeah, someone's going to get win a transcendent spot in this mixer. Someone from Arthur down to Aaron and everybody in between has a shot. And the name on top gets it after six and a five, 11 times. Name on top after 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 and final time. Name on top after 11. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And Daniel, he certainly had the odds in this break. And this time, it worked out, Daniel. Congrats to you. You got the one-on-one, -on -one, Greg Maddox. You won the spot in Transcendent Baseball, which drops at the end of the month. And you can pre-order now, too, ladies and gentlemen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There's a separate pre-order promo going on. Check it out on the website, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I think we've got another four-box mixer on the site, too, where you can win another spot in Transcendent. Go for it. It's a great value. It's a great value. And plus the nice hits out of the out of the break too. So check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.